Welcome to Maximal Being, a podcast devoted to ditching fad diets and using real science to get you healthy and feeling great. I'm Doc Mock, a GI and functional medicine doctor who harnesses the power of gut health to get you achieving your goals. And I'm Jackie P, a well-informed layman who challenges the experts and asks the questions that you want. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button or leave a comment. And now, on to the show. What's going on, Maximal Beings? Doc Mock here with MaximalBeing.com. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, leave us a comment. It does help us to get the word out. If you have any questions, you can email us at team at MaximalBeing.com. Enjoy the episode. Hello, hello, hello. Maximal Being listeners, first time, long term. It is I, Jackie P, your hostess with the mostess. Your favorite layman. I'm going to claim it now in 2024. Mm-hmm. Uh, here in sunny Philly. I'm here with Doc Mock. Handsome. Looking looking great. Look like maybe a little haircut action. Mm-hmm. Doc Mock, how are you today? Feeling fresh. Uh, Jack P, thanks for that kind introduction. For those of you listening for the first time, I'm Doc Mock. I'm a therapeutic endoscopist. That's a fancy type of GI doctor that usually treats, palliates, diagnoses cancers. I'm an also boarded functional medicine doctor. Jackie P, um, you forgot one of your accolades, which is you're now a movie star. I just wanted oh, to like, Lordy. <laughs> I just wanted to throw that out there that we've talked about my appearance on a commercial, but now Jackie P is coming to the stage. So uh, let's just like talk about how great that is for the universe. Oh, well, uh, I appreciate that, Doc Mock. Uh, for those who don't know, which is probably everyone, because I don't spread the stuff around <laughs> our, our our firm in my regular non-nerdy nutrition life uh we shot a commercial recently and i have just a little cameo you know that's it nothing big nothing major no not, not a starry role but uh it was something fun to do and i'm uh, happy with the product and it was it was a good time so okay so you're being modest <laughs> i'm gonna be i'm gonna brag for you it is hilarious it, it's this cocktail party and this guy's like i don't really want to talk about what I do for a living. The guy's like asking what he does for a living. He's like, I don't really like talking about that at cocktail parties. And it's because he's in the financial industry and the guy's like chasing him while he's trying to eat food and drink a drink at the party and asking him financial advice. And then the guy's like in the toilet and the guy's asking him about cryptocurrency. (laughs) And then it it closes with these at at the guy's funeral and the guy at the party is still asking him financial advice for the guy in the coffin. But it's really brilliantly done. The only thing I'll say is like, we just got to get you representation so that you can get speaking parts for the next version. Of oh. commercial, so. <laughs> well, I, 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 I appreciate that. And, and, and thank you for the support doc. Mock. That's why I love you. You're, you're a gem. And hopefully I had to switch my headset. Died, so I had to switch to my earbuds. Hopefully I don't sound terrible. A little um, echoey. A little echoey, a little echoey? All right. Yeah. We'll give it time to charge, but yeah. all right. But to the main event. So I'm joined by Dr. Uh, Ali Navidi, who is the CEO and co-founder of GI Psychology. So I want to prepare everyone right now because it's about, with all due respect, it's about to get very nerdy in here. So without further ado, Dr. Navidi, how are you today? How are you? Where are you coming in from? And uh, yeah, say hi to the people. Yeah, Jackie P, it's... uh... Great to talk with you and Doc Mock. Um, I really like the energy here. It's a lot of fun. It sounds like it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm coming from Northern Virginia, so DC metro area, about 20 minutes away from DC. And uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm here to talk a little brain gut therapy and, uh, and whatever is related to that. So I'm excited. We are too. Well, we're, we're happy to have you. Um, and we're excited to do this also. I, I think Doc Mock is especially excited because we haven't recorded an episode in some time and to come back to something that is basically so much your world, like we're gonna we're gonna talk about it. So let's let's get to it. Are you a healthcare practitioner searching for a comprehensive solution to streamline your patient referrals and improve collaboration with other practitioners? Look no further than Rupa Health, the ultimate platform for integrative and functional medicine practitioners. As a healthcare practitioner, I've struggled with the traditional referral process for labs. 
It's time consuming, inefficient, and often lacks the necessary communication between providers and patients. But ever since I started using Rupa Health, everything has changed. That's right, Rupa Health is revolutionizing the way that practitioners connect and order lab work with their patients. Their advanced platform allows you to effortlessly send and receive patient lab referrals and secure their information, sending them the kits directly. This makes the communication directly with other patients and practitioners easy to take care of. I can't stress enough how much time and energy Rupa Health has saved me. With just a few clicks, I can easily order lab work and track their progress, and then I receive the results directly into my inbox, which I can send to the patients automatically with recommendations. Absolutely, Rupa Health's extensive network of lab testing and curated, integrated, and functional medicine testing allows practitioners to receive the highest quality of care and dedicate their practice to a patient-centered, holistic approach, which aligns perfectly with the values of healthcare in a functional medicine practice. Plus, Rupa Health provides you with excellent customer support. Their team is responsive, knowledgeable, and always helps with assistance in billing questions and how kits are shipped to your patients. They are dedicated to helping practitioners like us provide the best possible care for our patients. And if you're a patient listening, it allows you to seamlessly order your lab testing and receive all of the necessary information. Rupa Health has been a game changer for my practice, and as you know, it will be for yours too. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to save on lab testing by heading to labs.rupahealth, that's R-U-P-A dot com slash store slash storefront underscore V is in victory, G is in grape, X zero zero four zero zero. That's labs.rupahealth.com backslash store backslash storefront underscore V is in victory, G is in grape, X zero zero four zero. I'll see you later, Maximal Beings. Ali, so give us, you know, your superhero origin story, right? I assume, correct me if I'm wrong, you weren't in grade school saying no. My tummy and my brain are talking to each other, and I got to prove this to the people, right? So yeah. how did you get into this field? How did you get started? You know, give us a good background of how you got here. Yeah, it was um, completely opposite of that, right? Um zero awareness that this was even a thing at all. Um, I was a microbiology major. I was working in biotech after uh, college. Um, luckily, uh, and I've said this before, like my wife is a lot smarter than me. Uh, and she kind of pointed out, hey, you might want to shift gears a bit because you're spending all your time reading about psychology, being an amateur therapist to your friends and coworkers. So I switched gears and, and, and at the time I, I was really excited and loved, and I still do clinical hypnosis and, and definitely hope to have some time to talk about what that actually is here. Um, but that's what pulled me into psychology. Um, and so there was no gut brain therapy on my mind as I became a therapist, um, but I love the power of hypnosis. I love using it, integrating it into treatment. And little by little, I found um, that it was this amazing tool for patients with IBS and other GI problems. And, and as I had these experiences, I, I learned more, I took more training. Um, and eventually it just word got out and the gastroenterologist in the area found me. And uh, that became like 80, 80, 90% of my practice. And, and this wasn't deliberate. Um, it's just that there are so many patients with these problems and so few people that are actually trained to help them. And so that's how it started. And then four years ago, uh, I started a bigger practice called GI psychology uh, because again, that problem of access to care, uh, there's, there's literally about a little bit less than 500 gut brain therapists in the whole world. Um, and there's mil there's like 45 million patients just with IBS in this country. So there's a little bit of an imbalance there. Yeah. I, um, I, so firstly, I think that the three of us can absolutely already agree on something you said, which is that 
your wife being smarter than you. I think we can all agree on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's it's I was just at our national meeting, international meeting in Washington, DC, which maybe you were, you know, there attended yeah. some. Yeah. I okay. So yeah. it's right in your backyard. And um brain gut access was all over the meeting. It was such a hot topic, um, you know, really gaining a lot of steam in terms of like the scientific evidence. Um mm -hmm. and and I think that it's interesting that this is a new area of medicine and of psychology that we're just discovering this when this machinery has existed since the dawn of man. Um, yeah. Why? Why do you think it's taken so long for the medical community to kind of like acknowledge this as a as a connection? It, it's interesting because um, at one level we're just discovering it, yeah. and at another level we've known it. We've known it. And if you look at the at the research, uh, if you look at the research for clinical hypnosis for something like IBS, um, it goes back close to 40 years. There's 40 years of very solid research showing over and over again, effective, effective, effective. Uh, but it's only relatively recently that people are actually talking about it, that it's gaining any momentum. Um, I've got some theories about maybe why that is, but my guess is, is probably as good as any uh, about why it's becoming more popular now. I mean, I still, to this day, talk to people about the microbiome in, in my field and therapeutics, and they're like, oh, it's this evolving new area. And I'm like, no, it's not. Like it, the, the functional medicine side has actually been researching this for about 20, 30 years. Right. It's just been the constant like Western side being like, no, I need, you know, I need it to be published in the New England Journal in a certain way. And like I, any of it's not there. And if it doesn't involve a drug or a, a procedure, like I totally reject it as true, which just is, I think yeah. is unfortunate. But I think people are realizing now that like their patients are finding this information, they're finding it in unreputable sources, and they need to take the stage and be an authority for somebody that actually is qualified like yourself. Yeah. And, and it is counterintuitive too. Um, you know, your stomach hurts, you're having all these symptoms. You're not thinking, let me go to a clinical psychologist. Um, you're thinking, what am I eating? Um, is there a problem? Let me get an endoscopy or colonoscopy. Right. right. Um, but you're not thinking, let me talk to somebody. Let me do some talk therapy way out of the realm of 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 where you're going to go and even if somebody mentions it to you there's a high likelihood you're going to say i don't know about that right <laughs> yeah the Absolutely. internal skip and yeah and i you know if i may chime in um and and, and doc mock you may remember the guest but we had a good conversation about that when it was like eastern medicine versus western medicine <laughs> where on the, you know, on this side of the world, everything just is in, in filing cabinets. Oh, my tummy hurts. Let's talk mm. about this. Talk to the tummy doctor. Right. And that's a medical term, by the way, tummy. So just let you guys all know. <laughs> it um, is. I'm know, a tomologist, actually. I'm a tomologist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you know, and uh, what I'm seeing and what I'm uh, reading is, I think folks, hopefully some who've been listening to Doc Mock and I over the last years have been starting to realize that, especially with the, 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 your microbiome, right? That it is all connected and it is not in a silo. It is not in its own filing cabinet. And uh, I hope folks after listening to this can see like, hey, you know what? Let's look at everything else and how the system works together. Um, when we are having these, these issues like IBS or just GI dysfunction, right? As an umbrella term. Yeah. Um, you mentioned hypnotherapy. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm definitely not a skeptic, but I'm very curious about, and I don't want to be a hater because, uh, you know, we in my house, hey. you know, I tell my son all the time, we're not haters in this house, you know, but talk, you just crush a lot. Your yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> walk, walk me through like your experience with that, you know, like how did you yeah. start exploring that space and I guess some of the successes or, or not, you know, when, when you kind of got into that space. Yeah. And, 
you don't have to apologize for being a skeptic when it comes to clinical hypnosis. And there's a very good reason why actually you should be skeptical because what most people know about hypnosis, where do you think it comes from? It comes from entertainment hypnosis. It comes from the movies. It comes from the TV shows. It comes from the stage show that came to your high school or came mm -hmm. to your college. Right. Um, it come and and if and if that's where you're getting your information, then hypnosis looks crazy, and you would be crazy to do it, right? Um, and if you take all that and you just put it aside as as the kind of the BS that it actually is, and it's fun BS, but it's BS. And then you say, okay, well, what what is it? What actually are we talking about here? Um, and it's actually pretty straightforward. It's it's just teaching someone how to go on purpose into a state of trance and trance is a normal, normal state of consciousness. We all go in and out of trance. Uh, anybody who works out at some point in your workout, you're going into trance. Um, you know, there are all kinds of people who go for runs and they're in this runner's zone. I can't say I've ever been one of them. And that's probably why I hate running, um, <laughs> you know, but but trance is happening all the time. Just, I've got two teenagers. Uh, anytime they pick up their phone, I know they're in trance and they might even be nodding at the right time when I'm talking to them, but none of that's getting through, right? <laughs> uh, so, so trance is happening normally. Most people don't know how to get into that state on purpose. And it turns out that when we're in trance, we're capable of a lot a lot more powerful mind body connection right and so there's tremendous evidence showing that clinical hypnosis is helpful for for different types of pain um, and also for gi problems as well um, and that's because when we're in trance we can we can affect our mind body system in ways that we can't normally do in our normal state of consciousness oh, okay so it's so I'm, I'm glad you addressed that because, you know, in my brain and you, you hit the nail on the head in my brain, I see waving, a, you know, a stopwatch saying yeah. you're getting sleepy yeah. and all this stuff. Um, so interesting. So, you know, it, in, in a session, right. Or I guess in over multiple sessions, you're just helping in, educate folks on how to basically like tap into, I guess, a set, uh, you know, like in that state of trying like just a separate set of consciousness, a separate state of yeah. like, you know, kind of thought process. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it's interesting because um, trance plus imagination equals some amazing results. And so um, most people don't understand the power of their imagination. Um, and that's a whole other topic, but um, there's a saying in psychology that anxiety is imagination misapplied. So if you think about anyone who's getting anxious, it's because they're imagining some future state that terrifies them, right? Their imagination is running wild. And so essentially, in a way, we're teaching people how to use their imagination in a way that's going to benefit them. And, and the research shows clearly that uh, by do, using these techniques, by helping them into trance and then um, engaging their imagination, that they can make real clear changes in their brain gut system. I love it. That is, I love, I love that quote. It's, it's being said again, it said, so anxiety is imagination. Misapplied. 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 Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Are you looking for high quality evidence-based supplements to support your functional medicine practice? Look no further than Fullscript the leading platform for healthcare practitioners to prescribe and order professional grade supplements. As a functional medicine and gastroenterology doctor, I trust Fullscript to provide me with a wide range of high quality supplements that meet specific needs of my patients. Their extensive product catalog includes trusted brands, ensuring that I have access to the best options for my patient's health. That's right, Fullscript offers a comprehensive selection of supplements, including vitamins, minerals, botanicals, and specialty formulations, all sourced from reputable manufacturers. Plus, their rigorous quality control ensures that you're getting products that meet the highest quality standards of purity and potency. 
And what I love most about Fullscript is the convenience it offers. With their user-friendly online platform, I can easily browse, prescribe, and manage supplement protocols for my patients. It saves me valuable time and streamlines the ordering process. Absolutely, Fullscript makes it easy to create customized protocols for your patients and track their progress. Plus, they handle all the logistics from inventory management to shipping, so you can focus on what matters most, providing excellent care to your patients. So if you're ready to take your functional medicine practice or wellness to the next level, visit us.fullscript.com slash welcome slash maximal being. That's us.fullscript.com slash welcome slash maximal being to receive your 15% discount on customized supplements and check maximal being standardized protocols for gut health. Fullscript has been a game changer for my practice and I know it will be for yours. Don't miss out on this incredible resource for functional medicine practitioners and patients alike today. Ali, let's, I'm going to give you a chance to brag right now. So in, in, in these therapies, like, you know, with, of course, about violating HIPAA, right? We're all practicing yeah. professionals here. Uh, yeah. can, can you, is, is broadly speaking, maybe share an example of like a case or something where you felt where someone had something and then you helped them kind of solve that like what like you know what's the story like how how did someone yeah. apply this yeah and the good news is this the good news for patients all over the all over the country is that the this treatment is tends to be short so usually around 10 sessions on average, and it's a very high success rate. So we're talking about 80% are, are gonna reach their treatment goals. So we've got so many uh, great stories. So the the most recent case that I saw, and obviously I'm gonna change the details to protect the innocent, um, but uh, the person can't, you know, and this is all, we, we see our patients on telehealth. So so I get on the call and there, there's a man um, curled up, um, on a, you know, kind of on his desk, writhing, right? And and so Doc Mock will know, you know, this is functional dyspepsia. And he's got tremendous bloating, and he's also and he's also got constipation that goes along with it. So there's bloating, pain, discomfort. Um, there's this kind of brain fog that's going with it. He he's a mess. He's a mess. Uh, within, so then we did our intake and then within four sessions of treatment, no symptoms at all. And, wow. and I can talk about how we got there. Um, but uh, it was essentially, I'd say this treatment was probably 90% clinical hypnosis. Often wow. we, in, we integrate a lot of cognitive behavioral therapy, a specific forms of cognitive behavioral therapy we integrate them into treatment. But for this particular case, the CBT part of it was not really needed. He was a gr he was great with hypnosis and we and we really ran with it. Wow, incredible. Wow. Congrats yeah. to him and, and you. That sounds you ever, uh, exciting. Do you ever fly to Florida and do, <laughs> do consulting work? <laughs> oh, wow. What's a major it? cancer center down in the south? Oh. Board? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I actually I did a training with with a lady who does uh, the majority of her work with with cancer patients mm. uh, because because uh, clinical hypnosis is a great tool for nausea. Yeah. Um, wow. Wow. But yeah, uh, I can tell you a little bit about the treatment itself if you're interested. Um, it essentially involved a technique uh, that I've worked with and developed over the years called the control room, and it's it's a place that's that we build kind of in their mind where they can begin to manipulate their symptoms. So as an example, um, he could, we worked on his bloating and he could feel the bloating resolving in the session within a matter of, you know, a couple minutes. Wow. And yeah. I know that sounds too good to be true. Um, but if, again, if you go back to the research and you can see these, these treatments, they work and they work really well. I just did a Instagram live with a friend and former colleague of mine um, who is an expert in functional neurologic disorders. And we talked a little mm. bit about the brain gut access 
And I really believe everything that you're saying. You know, I I think it's like I have a master's degree in anatomy, which is not a brag. I'm just saying that I I know go ahead, human go ahead, anatomy. Brag, you <laughs> big old brain, you. <laughs> <laughs> but I, all I'm saying is that, like, if you look at basic human anatomy, what what it, you know, you look at every human being on imaging. We all have this nerve called the vagus nerve, right? And it starts in our brain. And it's, it's called the wandering nerve for a reason. It's, it goes through your, you know, cranium ropes all around your chest cavity, all around your belly cavity and wraps all around all of the organs there. And the main job of this is to make hormones and secrete input that makes your GI tract move and shake and, and make uh, its various enzymes to help you digest things. And so that's one direct highway that starts in the brain and goes all the way to the gut. And it's a two-way thing, right? Input from the gut goes up to the brain and vice versa. And all those same hormones that are made in the intestinal tract, serotonin, dopamine, et cetera, are the same hormones in our brain that make us feel anxious, scared, depressed. So, I mean, I, I'm with you. Like, I think that the physiology is there. I think that the anatomy is there. It's just taken time for the medical community to create that scientific evidence to support that basis for that connection. Do you agree with that? Why there's a link and why your therapies work is, is based upon anatomy and physiology, or do you think there's something else there too? Yeah. I think if you, if you just look at the anatomy and physiology, it would be weird if the brain and gut weren't massively influencing each other right? Yeah. You, there's so much connection. You've got the central nervous system and the enteric nervous system. The enteric nervous system is the, the little, the little brain, so to speak, that, that is in our gut. And so it's like this little brain talking to, to our big brain. And, um, and, and you just, and it's hard to go through life without seeing that connection, right? You know, you watch a commercial, you get hungry, you know, you, you're about to give a, you're about to do a podcast. You got, you get butterflies in your stomach, right? Um, we, we know it every day that they're connected. Uh, we just don't, we just, it's just not as intuitive to see when things really start going wrong with things like IBS and things like that, that it's the, the brain gut connection is intimately involved in that. Well, I would also like to take this chance to say those butterflies are usually just because I'm so excited to see Doc Monk. I just can't wait to see that stuff. <laughs> yeah, um, there is no but, way that Jackie P is nervous <laughs> going on a podcast anymore. Not yeah, that there's any yeah. shame in that for any person yeah. listening out there. He yeah. does not seem nervous yeah. at all. Yeah. At no, all. no, no. I'm just having a good time learning to some two big brain folks. You know, I could do this all day. Three, you know? three big brain people. Oh, oh yeah. thanks. That's why I love you so much. The content included is not intended to be used as medical advice, and viewers should consult their physician or healthcare provider should they have additional questions. The viewers should not rely on information contained in these presentations for immediate or urgent medical needs. Additionally, if you think you have a medical emergency, call your physician or go to the emergency department or call 911 immediately. Never disregard professional medical advice or rely on seeking medical care or delay medical care due to information contained in this presentation. What's going on, Maximal Beings? Doc Mock here. If you haven't done so already, leave us a comment and hit the subscribe button. Let your friends and family know. That way we can get the word out and continue to bash the bro science.